In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a compound form to input data between two or more tables in Access 2016. So once we have linked the tables and defined the relationships in a database, then you can do a lot of wonderful things and you can enjoy working with Microsoft Access. And now we have linked those tables together and we have defined the relationships to basically create a form. Forms that can be created either on an individual table, for example, if I go here under create and I go under form wizard here, and let's say I want customers and I want to create a new form for all my customers, click on next, and then next, and then next again. So there is my form for the customer. So this is a simple form in Microsoft Access. To create a compound form, and by the way, the form now has been saved here under Forms, Customers, go under Create here, go under Form Wizard, and then we choose Customers. Let's say I want everything from my Customers table, and then I want also data from my Contracts table. And here under the Contracts, I want to make sure I have the contract number. I don't need the Customer ID because it's going to be in the Customers table. Then I want the contract amount, and then the signing date, and then the type as well. And then click on Next. At this point, it asks us how do we want to organize the data. We want to see basically since our customers are going to have more than one contract, it's a one-to-many relationship, we want to organize it by customer. So we have customer one, and then you can see three or four contracts, customer two, one contract or five contracts or 15 contracts or whatever they have. And then we leave everything else alone here and then click on next. Then here we click on next again, and then we give it a name. So we could actually say contracts by customer and then click on finish. By the way, make sure you give a meaningful name there. And now at this point, notice what happens here. So we have the customer on the top here, their customer information, but then right below this customer, we also have the orders or the contracts. You could go and add new contracts if you wanted here, so you could have and such. So now for, for this customer, we have a new contract created as well. So basically, at this point, your assistant can use it to look up customers and their information, or you can use it to update the new contracts or new orders related to that customer or your customers. Notice you have also these controls here. So you can go from one customer to the next. So you go next here, and by the way, you'd have to adjust this. So if you click here on customer, on the customer area, now we can go from one customer to the next and so on. If we want to go from one order to the other and add new orders, you have also those controls for this sub form. This form here is a mechanism to enter new data, view data. You have the main form, which is the contracts by customer, but then right below it, you have the sub form, which is pulling from the contracts table. So we have the data from two tables being displayed at the same time. And then you have the, the main controls for the main table over here, and you can create new records as well if you need it by using this button right here. And then in the bottom here, you have the actual orders or the contracts for the customers. To update the uh, data in here, whether you want to change to add new comments or whether you want to add new forms or new customers from here. Now remember, all the data that we enter from here, it actually goes and gets stored in the actual tables. So if we go here under Customers, we should have this new customer that we just entered earlier. So that's how compound forms work and how you create them and update them and use them. In the next session, I'm going to show you how to customize the form in Microsoft Access 2016. Earlier in this uh, tutorial, I created a form called Contracts by Customer. This is what it looks like so far. And the purpose of this session is how to customize this form there are three different views for customizing anything in Microsoft Access. Here on the left-hand side, you have the layout view, 
and then you have also the design view one thing that you can do definitely is um, you can customize this and make it smaller or bigger or however you want to resize this so let's say you want to make the text there format it slightly different and you have the formatting tools and basically change it however you want, very similar to Microsoft Word. Now the next thing that you might want to do here is that you don't really need this customer ID uh, data so big and such, so you can resize it, and we are doing this by using the layout view. The next one is go through each field here and customize this to your liking. Additionally, you can change the formatting for this, so it would be a little bit easier to read. You want to make sure that you adjust only the stuff here on the left and not elsewhere. And basically you're formatting this to whatever you want. So you're customizing it to your liking. Since we are formatting this and changing the layout view, notice that we have the form layout tools. These are the contextual tools related to this form in Microsoft Access. We have these uh, different tabs here that you can uh, change and tweak and such. But one of the th cool things here is, is that you can apply themes instead of you spending all afternoon tweaking this and changing this probably the width of these fields customize them manually here as far as the colors and such what you could do is you can go and simply apply one of those themes so you pick from one of those themes here and notice it's going to change the design whether it's the font or whether it's other components related to this form so pick one of those themes and then further adjust it and then notice that you have also uh, various color schemes here that you can apply. Didn't change too much, but you get the idea. And then you can apply also the different fonts as well. So that's one way to customize this. If you wanted to tinker and insert images and such, uh, you can utilize this and you add uh, logos and such. And then you could uh, click here under property sheet and this tells us where this field is linked to. It controls the linking to the table itself. So for example, right here it says that it's linked to the comments field on the customer's table. And then notice there are lots of controls here that you can change. Typically you don't want to tinker with this or to change this to something different because then it will break that link and then the data will not be updated. This is one way to customize this form. The next way to customize it is going into the design view, and this is another uh, mechanism. So I'm going to save these changes first. Uh, this is a little bit more in depth. It shows the data where it's linked behind the scenes with what fields, and you can line things exactly the way you want them appropriately and all that type of thing. Notice that you can change here colors and alternate rows and uh, background image and all that type of thing and the fill and all that type of stuff. That is more advanced. You can resize stuff, move things around if you needed to. But in a nutshell, that's how you customize it. You customize it by going through these different views that we just went over here. Once you are all set with a design and such, then you can close your design, save the changes, and then open it up again. It should have applied the changes that we made earlier. You want to make this forms as nicely as you can so that your uh, staff that is utilizing these forms is actually using them effectively and also it's pleasant and easy for them to enter the data. Keep in mind that you can create more than one form based on the data. So if one of your assistants needs access to only a couple pieces of data here, then you create a form specifically for them. And for others, you create a more complete form and such. So hopefully that makes sense and that it was helpful.